Hi everyone, this is Mingyao from Singularity Engineering and today we'll do the first part of my series on room ventilation studies using ANSYS CFD. We're going to start by getting the geometry ready. The geometry came from Rivet. This is a classroom model that we created at Singularity Engineering. The Rivet model typically is best transferred using the 3D.SAT or ACES format. And you can see we have uh, some tables, some chairs, and some cabinets as well as windows and, windows and doors. The ventilation equipment is not, simul is not included in the model here, but that's okay. We can adjust that pretty quickly. The first thing we often want to do is simplify the model. So I'm going to grab something that I consider to be small and not really relevant to the analysis and select everything that's smaller than this object. See a lot of parts gets highlighted. Hitting the delete button deletes all of those parts. And now my simplification is done. So simplification is very easy in a space claim. Uh, the floor and the door is kind of uh, and the wall is kind of joined together at the edge. This is not ideal for these models because uh, finding these, these intersections are challenging when we want to identify the fluid domain. So I'm going to pull this thing out so that it, it's the full size of the... We don't have any overhang. So I'm just hitting the U button to pull this up to. You can see it's uh, done very quickly here. And that should allow me to get a fluid volume pretty easily. So one of the, there are many ways we can go about creating the fluid volume. Uh, one of the easy way, easier ways is just to create an enclosure. The enclosure does a Boolean subtraction of all of the solids. You can see it models everything inside. So all we need to do is pull this uh, and we can measure the distance to the floor. So this is supposed to be a, a, it's a I think a 14 foot ceiling. So let's try to pull, set that distance to 14 feet. Oh, maybe this is a nine feet ceiling. There we go. Okay. So I have a nine foot ceiling in this room and this is the area that we don't need. And you can see we have the doors modeled, we have the windows modeled, we have everything we need to do, a, to do an analysis. What this doesn't have are the vents, the, the supply and return vents in the building. So there's uh, different places you can put these things and I'm going to just draw in something simple for now as a preliminary analysis. We'll do something fancier later on. So let's go ahead and do a sketch. Uh, so actually we can move this over here. So this, this activates the, the, uh, the fluid volume and I can just go ahead and start drawing things on this. So for example, let's say we, ha we want to have uh, a couple of, a couple of uh, supply. Uh, let's say, I don't know, let's say 24, 24 inch by 8 inch. Okay, so that's one. Let's do another one over here. So 24 inch by 8 inch. Okay. So I'm just holding down the cursor so it doesn't doesn't uh, fix the size, and I can type in the numbers. Okay, so I, I got a couple of spots here where I can blow air into the the room, and we can, for example, um, you know put some returns in. Let's do a circular return maybe over here somewhere. We'll do a, let's say, let's say a 12 inch return. And then uh, we, can, we can put returns on different planes as well. I want to show that feature. So I'm going to maybe put one down here. Actually, let's make them all rectangles. So 12 inch by 12 inch 
and then let's do one in the corner here. So this is a little bit close to the floor. It's pretty big too. And the nice thing about space claim is we can always move these, move these geometry objects afterwards. So if we wanted to, we can. Oh, maybe that's a little bit too high. Let's say we put it somewhere here, for example. Just for example purposes here. I guess when I moved it, it decided to uh, create like solid objects for all of these these other pieces. So that's okay. We should have a easy way of cleaning this up too. So if there are things overlapping in the model, having this interfe interference check would resolve that. We can just cut it, cut those interference areas away automatically and. Um, we should be done. So if this is a good way, if you want to add additional furniture or walls, we can just uh, take an existing model, add it in, and um, do that. So we don't need any of this anymore. So again, we have the model we want. So that's all we need to do. You know, in a few minutes, we can quickly clean up a room. If it's a building, it'll take a little bit more time, but really. Uh, clean up building models is pretty simple simple even when it's full of furniture like this so that's it for a quick example of setting up the model in the next video we will set up the simulation and do a quick uh, airflow analysis Hi everyone, this is Ming Yao from Singularity Engineering and in this video we will look at how to set up a quick airflow analysis using ANSYS CFD. So this is going to be focused on ventilation studies. Um, we're not going to look at the thermal effects, we'll do that later. But for now let's just look at ventilation simulation of this classroom model. Uh, in the previous video I've already created this geometry, so we, we have a few vents. Uh, uh, I guess supply locations and a couple and couple return locations and I put one on the ceiling for the return and one on the floor and that gives us an idea of how the air will move around in this room. So let's go ahead and set up the simulation. Uh, we want to save this model first. So we're gonna do um, let's do a ventilation. Or video. So we do need to save the simulation, uh, the, the model, in order to proceed. I'll call this Classroom Model 1. Uh, go to Workbench and we can get started with the analysis. Okay, we have the geometry here. We're going to use one of the ANSYS CFD tools. To set up simulation, so we're going to create a mesh on this geometry, set up, solve, and look at the results. Okay, we have the model here. Um, the we can switch the units to feet. It tend to be a little bit easier to work with. You can see this room is 40 foot by 23 feet, so it's about a thousand square foot. Um, we're going to make our size about one foot and uh, we want to have good uh, resolution 
at my vents, uh, supply and return vents. So sizing in those areas will probably put in, you know, quarter feet uh, sizing. Still a little bit big. Let's go a little bit smaller. And go ahead and generate a mesh. Since we're just tracking the air movement in this room, we don't have to be too careful with the meshing. Uh, but certainly we can add things in, in like inflation layers and boundary uh, modeling to try to capture detailed models, detailed airflow patterns. We, we can do some of that later on too. The mesh we created here is about a million cells. This is enough for the current simulation, so we'll pause here. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and in the next video, we will present how to set up this CFD analysis. Mm -hmm.